Hi everybody, and we have the introduction of a new hat tonight. So, uh, <laughs> good evening, welcome along to Wednesday Night Open Mic Magic, and the hat courtesy of my good friend Irvin Baxter, so uh, he will uh, no doubt be watching on Facebook and say, hey, I got mentioned. Um, right, let's just have a quick look at the running order. We've got a packed show tonight, so let's just get on with it without me wittering away half the evening. On to our very first performer, the wonderful George Smith. Come here, George. Sorry, it wouldn't be a new year of open white magic if someone didn't pretend to be muted right at the start of the show. Happy New Year, everyone. I'm George. Uh, what an honour to be performing again and to be opening the New Year's show. Now, not a lot of people know this about me, but I'm very good thrower and catcher. Obviously, I'm not the best in the world, that'd be ridiculous. But I'm certainly up there with some of the elites. Don't worry, that was just a warm up, but I will show you what I mean. I can take a ball like this and I'll put it into my pocket. With a flick, what happens is the ball travels across my apartment, bounces off the back wall, and just like that, I can catch it. Not in my hand, of course, that would be too easy. What happens is I actually catch it underneath the cup. What more? Usually I get asked to prove myself at this point. So I'll do it again. I'll take the second ball. I'll put it into my pocket. I'll flick across the apartment, it goes, bounces off the back wall, comes back and like that. I catch the ball back under the middle cup. I'll do it one more time for you. I'll give you a chance to see what's happening this time. I'll take the ball and throw it in the air. If you can watch it coming down like that, the last ball caught underneath the last cup. At this point, people start to believe me. Maybe I am better at catching and throwing than they think. They ask me, can I do it with two balls? I scoff. Of course I can do it with two balls. We'll take the middle ball, we'll put it out of the way for the minute. We'll take the two side balls, one in each pocket. We'll start with the right hand pocket, flick across the room it goes, off the back wall, back again, and caught underneath the middle cup. We've got there two balls. We'll take the two balls, we'll put them back under the middle. One more ball in my left hand pocket, flick across the room it flies, off the back wall, and like this, caught underneath the middle cup, all three balls. Normally it gets a round of applause, but I appreciate you're all on mute. I figure how can I make this better? I've done one ball. I've done two balls. Can I actually take all three of the balls, put them into my pocket, flick across the room, all three balls fly. They bounce off that back ball and they come back under each cup. Well, I did think I could do that, but you can't. There is a major problem when you try and do that. So when you try and do that, what you actually catch is an orange. In fact, you catch three oranges. What's even more confusing though for everyone, including me, is I don't know where that fourth one comes from. Thank you everyone, happy new year. Thank you for supporting Open Mic again. Have a great rest of show, enjoy everyone else. Thank you. Excellent, thank you, George. Great way to open the show and uh, to usher in 2023 let's hope it's going to be a fantastic year right okay moving on rapidly from the uk over the pond down to texas and to our uh, good friend Ravina. hi there robin
Yay! And we all love cake. <laughs> Thank you, Robin. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, now I'm really excited because our next act is uh, somebody I've been wanting on the show forever. And at last, he's with us tonight. Introducing Jack Spare Ribs. Uh, there we go. Sorry about that. Uh, welcome. Welcome. I'm out here in lovely California in my tiki bar in the pouring torrential rain. <laughs> Doesn't seem very California like today. But um, uh, hang on a second. I'm going to change this to the gallery view so I can see all of you. I, if you can turn on your camera for me, if you want to participate, I need many, many people with their cameras on so I can see everybody because that, I can't see you if you don't have your camera on. You don't show up. You're just writing. Um, thanks. That would be awesome because I'm going to be doing some things where I need to pick some people um, because, well, we're going to play a little game. Now, in Magic, there's a lot of games that people play, and you may have seen them, people that, uh, that even kids that play them on the street corners it's not really a game when they're playing um you may know what i'm talking about the old uh the the monty trick where they've got three cards and uh, two black ones usually uh one red one one is usually an ace or a queen um of course they make some face down they can do it very slowly very quickly doesn't matter what they do but you usually lose unless they want you to win but we were paying attention i was going very slowly so we know that the ace is of course in the middle Duh. that's pretty obvious and i'm not as fast as those guys in fact i can do it very slowly look i'll put the ace right there put the three right there now we all know before i do any mixing or anything we know where the ace is right correct yes no yes no no don't be don't be fooled already come on it's over here on the bottom you got to be paying closer attention than that that's not what i wanted to show you you see that is a game where everyone loses because that's the whole nature of the game i like games of chance where who knows if you're going to win or lose right so let's play one of those but to play that i need some spectators from the audience so this is why i need people with their video on so you show up on my lovely wheel of chance which i happen to have right here next to me no really there's gonna be a, see, that's all of you watch i'm gonna give it a spin and we're gonna pick somebody randomly from all of you and we'll see who it is now hopefully it's someone with their camera on willing to turn on their microphone and play is andy willing to play excellent we've got one there let's pick one more person uh maybe two more people let's play this let's make this really fair um let's spin this wheel see who else we get we get Andy again? No, that's not... See, I told you, it's a, really, it's a random spin. This is not like some thing where I can, you know, make it stop on... Don't stop on Andy. Dear God, don't stop. Well, be that. Would you mind helping me? That would be fantastic. And we'll give it one more spin. And this, is, this makes it completely fair. That way you know I'm not picking uh, people who are my friends who are going to pick the right cards or things like that. We have Bill. Bill, would you mind helping me? That would be fantastic. All right, I'm going to go ahead and come back over here, and we're going to bring all of you into a very special space here. This is where, oh, I should have gotten this out. Hang on. I'm going to get out a piece of paper and a, a pen, and I'm going, to, um, I'm going to be writing something down. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to play a little game, uh, a game of chance. And where do you find games of chance? casinos right so i want you to use your imagination imagine with me that you're in a casino imagine the sounds and the sights the smells the smoke the cheesy carpets imagine the whole you guys are good awesome okay now imagine that you're sitting at slot machines and and the slots are spinning and let's imagine that each one of you is a number on or column on that a wheel a wheel on that slot machine and you are going to pick three random numbers. Each of you will pick a number between zero and nine, and then you will say it what it is. We'll put it up on the scoreboard right here. And um, let me, I'm gonna write the winning numbers though. All right, that way we, this is, you gotta match these numbers. Let's give you a, ch you guys aren't like good at like reading. No, you couldn't tell what I was writing, could you? It's messy too. All right, there we go, get in there. All right, now, here we go. Um, player number one, up at the top there, would you please name a number? Picture the wheels spinning, picture please. picture like this. You you can't see through that, can you? No. Wait, wait a minute, yet. wait a minute. You can't see through this, can you? Uh, 
Okay, I just oh, want to make no, sure you no, can't no, see I through. Can't see through. Um, right but I want you to picture it. Picture it. Picture the numbers spinning and picture wheels. A picture with all the numbers and then it stops and lands on one number. What number does it land on? Three. Three. Um, and we go number three. Perfect. Okay, spectator number two. Um, it's spinning, it's going, and then it lands on a number. What number does it land on? Seven. We've got a number seven. There's number seven. Lucky number seven. And now we go all the way down to spectator number three. What is your magical lucky number? Three. Three again? Did you say three? Yes. All right. Here we go. Let me put number three up on the board. So we have chosen the big lucky number three, seven, three. The question is, how lucky do you feel? Do you feel like you might have actually matched my lucky number that I wrote down? Let's find out. Let me see. I've got a button to show you what you won. Ladies and gentlemen, tell them what they've won. They have won. I don't know what they won. They didn't win anything, but they did actually win each of their numbers. They give a big round of applause. Let's hear it for them. They're incredible. Woo! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. And now it's time for me to do one more amazing feat. We're going to do voodoo, because who do voodoo? You do voodoo. No, one of you does voodoo. No, seriously. Here, wait a second. I'll, I'll explain. Um, uh, I'm going to do a trick where you actually kind of create, control the outcome, basically. Let me... Uh, oh, this gets so confusing. Let me go ahead and, and bring you back here so I can show you. Um, one of you lucky people... Uh, or unlucky people, depending on how you look at it, will be um, participating here. And um, let's see. We're going to select someone here. Let's say, how about... Boink! Bruce, would you mind helping us? That would be fantastic. Uh, Bruce, you we're going to do a card trick. Fantastic. We're going to do a card trick, Bruce, and we're going to... I don't like card tricks on Zoom because it's hard to, you know, people to know it's not like trick cards or something. And I like to be able to hand the deck to someone and say, here, shuffle this. Well, I've figured it out. We do it through voodoo. No, really, here, watch. I've got a special magic deck of cards. They're TV magic cards, and you are on a big TV screen. So here, take the cards. Just just go ahead and grab those cards. Just, just take them. There you go. Grab those cards. Give them a shuffle. Just shuffle, shuffle those cards. Fantastic. Do it. You can do one of those riffle fancy ones, too, if you want. There you go. And do you can do a one-handed cut, too. You can just do one of those one-handed cut. You are good. Or it's those magic cards, one or the other. All right. Now, here's what you're going to do. You're going to hold them out on both hands, just like this. You're going to put your thumbs on the top. You're going to hold them tight. What you're going to do is on the count of three, you're going to pull your hands apart. One half is going to go one way. One half is going to go the other way. What are you going to take out, the black or the red? Red. The red. All right. Here we go. On the count of three. One, two, three. Whoosh. Pull your hands apart. The black go one way. The red go one way. You said the red. So hold the red ones out on your hand and give them a squeeze. You can put the black ones down. We're done with those. All right. Hold them out. Give them a squeeze like this. You'll create a bow like that. The bow comes down like that. You'll notice on the front edge, there's a bevel. Only magicians notice this sort of thing. But that's important, because if you let go of those cards all at once, you're playing 52 pickup. Well, it's actually 26, because it's only the red ones. But it would be a mess, right? Magicians know there's a better way of making a mess. You release the pressure slowly on the tips of the fingers, and the cards fly off a little bit at a time, creating a fountain of cards. It's called a card fountain, technically. I don't know why. But they fly up into the air, and then they fly back down. It's beautiful. This, in this case, all the red cards would be fantastic. So don't do it yet. On the count of three... I'll be telling you when to do it. You'll be flying. The cards will be flying. Hang on. We need someone else to help us. And I think we need to get somebody like, um, how about, uh, this gentleman down, down here. Is this Andrew? Is that what that says there? Fantastic. Um, what I'd like you to do is just imagine for me that you are holding a glass, like a, a clear glass, like a wine glass, say, okay? Just imagine you're holding a lovely wine glass. All right. 
And now, uh, back to um, you. All right, on the count of three, you are going to uh, let go of the cards. They'll fly up in slow motion into the air, and then they'll come back down and rain down on end here. Ready? One, two, three. The cards go flying. Woo! Slow motion like the Matrix. Whoa, I know Kung Fu. And they start falling down toward you. There they go. All the way down there. They're coming down. Reach out with your glass and catch one of those falling cards. Nicely done. Now, out of all those cards that were falling, the red ones, the hearts and the diamonds, which one did you catch in the glass? King of Hearts. The King of Hearts. The King of Hearts. Mm -hmm. That's amazing! Fantastic! The King of Hearts! Let's hear it for both of our volunteers! Give them a big round of applause! They have helped us do the King of Hearts! Um, what do you call it? King of Hearts? Not trick, that sounds too... The amazing King of Hearts miracle! The amazing King of Hearts miracle! I like that. Now I will actually do the amazing King of Hearts miracle that you guys just made up. Let me push the button. My fanciness. My lights. My music. My my cards. I need cards. Hang on. <laughs> I've got cards. Uh, and a glass. Cards and a glass. Okay. That, they're in the box. When I take them out of the box, should we shuffle them like you guys did or leave them like they are? What do you think? Shuffle? Leave them. Shuffle. You guys want me to shuffle. All right, all right. I'll shuffle them. You don't trust me at all, but look, they're already mixed up. They're all just a bunch of messy cards, but I will shuffle like you did. Did one of those. Oh, and you did one of those. Uh, and, and a one-handed cut. You did one of those. Now, the bend, the bevel, the bend, the bevel, the glass, the king of hearts, miracle. Don't blink or you'll miss it. Now, the king of hearts. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Back to you. Hey, terrific. Absolutely wonderful. Thank you, Jack Bear Ribs. Right, what a ah, so far, what's happening is New Year and everything is, is brilliant. So, uh, looking forward to moving on down. Ah, right, right. So, we have now a gentleman who uh, we've been uh, teasing for about the last two and a half years saying, Come on, Bill, we need you on the show. So, apart from uh, something with a balloon about 18 months ago, which we've all forgotten about, but the proper debut. Oh, but William Dow. Bill Dow, come on in. Can I have Tom Gentile? Okay, you got me. Okay. I got postcards. Left or right? I can't see you in the uh, frame. Down more? That's better. All right. What's the question? Left or right? Left. Left. Left or right? Right. Left or right? Left. And left. Okay, I'm going to put all your postcards in this envelope. Okay. Now, this is my trip to Vegas. As you can see. Yeah. I was going to go to Vegas, but like they say, the COVID hit, so I'm going to go, 
So I finally made reservations. On the 4th of April. Not in frame. Can you see my cards? Can you I, see can, my I can see the cards. I can see the book. Can you see? Uh, yeah. Uh, am I looking for what a page the number? Of I'm sorry. No, you're looking at the 4th of April. The 4th, the 4th of, of April. Okay. Yeah. You got it? What am I, I going to do? What am I going to do? Uh, uh, yes. What are you going to do? Well, I'm going to go to the variety show. No, where are you going to stay? Oh, uh, Caesars. Palace Hotel and okay. Casino. Uh, take a... Okay. Take a helicopter. Oh, take a helicopter. Take a trip. Go over the strip. And eat at the In-N-Out Burger. What are you going to... Uh, at the In and Out Burger, and then uh, right In and Out Burger, and what are you going to watch? The variety show, the ultimate variety show. The, the okay, okay. Let's let's see what the envelope says. The ventriloquist act. Uh oh. <laughs> nice. Caesar's Palace. The helicopter ride. Excellent. The In and Out Burger. Excellent food. Oh, the ultimate variety show. Excellent. All four for four. I got one more quick one. That's all right. I got time. Can you see the aces? Uh, the fourth one's out of frame. There you go. Move it over. There you go. I'm going to take three cards on each pile. All right. I'm going to take... I'm going to mix them up. Uh-oh. Which one would you like me to turn over, left or right? The right pile. I'm going to take... This one, this one, as you can see, they're mixed up. Yeah. Now what I'm going to proceed to do is make four piles. Okay. So I'm dealing the cards out. Yep. You want me to go left or you want me to go right? Uh, left.
Can you still see? I can still see. As you notice. I did. Wow. The only ones that are face up are the aces. Very nice. That's all they have today. Thank no. you very much. Excellent. Thank you, Bill. Nice one. Excellent. Do like that. Right. Okay. Looking down to the running order, and we're staying stateside and uh, going to see my uh, my good friend Lee. Hi there, Lee Jermaine. Come in. Good evening. Good evening, uh, Kevin and everybody, and uh, welcome to the new folks. Uh, I remember um, Ace or uh, Jack Spare Ribs from a couple of years ago, my very first Zoom program I ever attended. Uh, was out of California. I got a gentleman named Ryan, I can't think of his last name, ran the show. And I was on there a couple of times just to watch as an observer. And Ryan King. It's, uh, it's probably, uh, it's been a couple of years. Anyway, uh, I need somebody to help me. And thank goodness, nobody has picked my favorite, favorite helper. Uh, Jill, would you be so kind as to give me a hand? There she is. Hi, dear. How are you? I'm fine. How are you? Good, good. Very good. Happy I'm New sure Year. Gonna... I'm sorry. What? Happy New Year. Well, thank you. Same to you. Same to you. I see you got all that wintry background there with the snow and yeah. That yeah, was my garden. Favorite. That's my garden. Oh, is it really? When the snow was down. Yes. Oh, great. That's very pretty. Very proud. But it's beautiful in the summer. It uh, is. Okay, what we're going to do here, Jill, is uh, I am going to change cameras real quick. Once I do this, there we go. You'll Ooh. notice I have three cards here, and they're blank on this one side. On the other side, however, I have written a couple of things. <laughs> on one of them, I have written your name. On another one, I have written my name. And on the third one is blank. Now I'm going to mix these up, Jill. And what I'm going to attempt to do is influence your decisions. And your job is to keep me from doing that. So it's kind of a psychological battle of the minds. And uh, now let me mix these up first where nobody knows what anything is, including myself at this time. But actually I do know what's where and everything. Uh, Jill, what I'd like you to do is first of all, let me explain. Like I said, one of these has your name, one is blank, and one has my name. Now I need you to pick the one that you want me to write my name on. And that will be my, uh, my uh, your choice against my choice. Which one would you like me to write my name on? The uh, left one, the middle one, or the right one? Middle. The middle one? Okay. And that would be good old Lee. Now let's uh let's place this here right here out of the way so uh, I don't want okay. And now Jill, it's turn to uh, it's time to figure out which one is the blank or which one has your name on. And I may be trying to influence you, so you may not necessarily want to believe what I'm saying when I happen like this telling you that's the one with your name which one would you like to put your name on mm. the uh left or the right right because right. i always am okay do that jill we'll let that lay right there and this obviously must be the blank one now let's recap what has happened here i uh I tried to influence your decision, and you tried not to be influenced. And that's one of the tricks that uh, mind readers and mentalists have, is their ability to influence people. This would be much better if you were here with me, because all we could turn over all three cards at the same time. But since you're not here with me, first of all, is this the blank card? And yes, it is the blank card. Is this the card with Jill's name on? Yes, it is the card with Jill's name on. And did you choose the right card for me to sign? And the answer to that is also correct. Thank you very much, Jill. I'm sorry I got you again.
Let's give Jill a big round of applause. I appreciate you helping me. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you all. <laughs> Excellent. So moving on, back to the UK, up north, north of the border, Scott Patton. Come here, Scott. Hello, everyone. Um, I'm going to do a wee short um, effect tonight. I've not been in the best of health, unfortunately, over the festive period, but I know a lot of people have been having a lot of bugs and things going around. But uh, I'll show you this little card effect that I um, like to perform with a little twist. Um, so uh, we'll bring this down here so you can see the cards. Um, so we've got a deck of cards and we're going to give the cards a, a little mix up, maybe a couple of cuts, something like this, and maybe even a shuffle as well. I'm going to maybe give it that as well. So let's give it a wee shuffle up. So I have a favourite card in a deck of cards um, and my favourite card is the King of Spades. Don't know why, but um, but yeah, King of Spades has always been my favourite card. So I've managed, because it's a card that I like, it's a card that I can easily find. Even though the cards can be well shuffled up, it doesn't matter how well they're shuffled because I can always find the card I want. Um, so I'll show you how this works. We'll just give it a couple of cuts like this and we should get the King of Spades because as I said before, the King of Spades is my favourite card. Um, so if we take the King of Spades, that's going to play the leader um, and we'll put the, the King of Spades down here and we'll keep that in full view. We're going to cut the cards and uh, like any leader, it has um, a pack to go with it. Um, and it has the other kings that like to, to play games with it as well. So we'll try and find another king by just giving the cards a little cut, and we should find the second king, the king of diamonds. Um, so we've got the king of diamonds here, we'll put the king of diamonds down, and again, we'll give the cards a little cut. We'll try and find the king of clubs this time. Um, so just about here, I think we should have, yeah, the King of Clubs. So we'll take the King of Clubs and we'll put that down there as well with the King of Diamonds. And last but not least, we need to find the final King um, in a shuffle pack of cards. We'll again, just give the cards a little shuffle up like this. Um, and we should get the last King, which should be the King of Hearts, which is just there. Um, now, if we take the King of Hearts, we can put that down here and we can get rid of the rest of the cards. Now, as I did say that we would do a little twist with the kings, um, and there is a little twist here. We're going to make each king vanish one by one to reappear over here. It should look like this. Here we go. We just cover the cards. We cover the cards like this, and we go one, two, three, and then they just vanish from here over to here. I know you don't believe me because it doesn't look like anything's happened. I didn't really say the cards were going to vanish. I said the kings were going to vanish. Because, see, the kings have vanished. One by one, they have vanished to then become with their little buddy, the king of spades. And you get all four kings together. And there we are. A forking king trick. <laughs> Back to the studio. Fantastic, lovely, lovely. I've nice got for an impromptu last minute trick. Tom Ox. Excellent. So, uh, okay, so from the UK over to the USA again and to uh, Mike Shaw. Come here, Mike. Greetings, magicians and magic fans. Happy New Year. I was thinking about my New Year's resolutions. And I came up with a way to break my resolution without feeling guilty. It has to do with free will. Free will is something we intuitively feel. We feel like it's freedom. I can have a cup of tea or not. It's freedom of choice. But, you know, science tells us we're free to discover, free to invent and make the world a better place. Yet scientists investigates everything we do and determines that everything has a cause. 
And if there's a cause, then our actions are not free. So there's always this conflict, do we have free will or not? Well, I think I have a way to shed some light on this problem of free will. If you'll join me in a little experiment, I need a volunteer. And I was just wondering if uh, Lee Germain might uh, be available for this particular experiment. Would that be possible? Uh, yes, I just, I just took a mouthful of banana, but I'm here. Well, that's fine. You won't need to do much talking initially, so feel free. Uh, the question is, did you make any New Year's resolutions this year? For the very first time ever, yes. Okay, don't tell me what it is, and I, I won't ask at the end, but that's interesting because you obviously feel like you have a free choice. Now, right behind me is this envelope, and I have three things in this envelope which will help us see whether or not there is free will. Maybe not, but it's an experiment I'd like to do. The first thing is a pair of scissors. And I'm going to stand up for this, so let me move my camera back a little bit. And then I also have um, a list of words. And the third thing in here, I'm just going to leave the envelope in plain sight. I will show you the third thing in a moment. But for now, just take a look. We have a list of words, um, all different. I had to come up with some, some household items here. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use the scissors. And remember, this envelope will be in view. So in order to do this, I'm going to just put my chair here. It's a black chair and it's pretty good for this particular thing. Lee, um, what I would like you to do is say stop as I move the scissors up and down. I wanna get a nice view here. I'm gonna go slowly at first to show you have a completely free choice anywhere along here. I'm going to cut one of those words I showed you in half. So I'm just gonna go up and down and you say stop anywhere you would like. Stop. Right up here, okay. That's down, good. Down. Okay, that's good. Is that good right there? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so I'm just going to try and make a precise cut where you said. And the reason I tilted the camera down is so we could actually see on the chair where the piece, pieces fell here. And now I'm gonna try and keep this in view as I tilt the camera back. And again, we have this envelope here behind us the whole time. Let's take a look and see what word you cut to there up near the top. Okay, so you had me cut the word in half here. And I don't know if you can see it. Let me see if I can get a nice shot. Comb, comb. Yes, I see it, comb. Is the word, yes, okay. So everybody can see that. Yep. Comb is the word that was cut in half, correct? Yes. Now, I don't know what your New Year's resolution is, Lee, but maybe it has something to do with a comb? I don't know. But let's take a look in here. The envelope is empty except for one thing, which is a comb, cool. which has been cut in half. <laughs> very cool very cool thank you and by the way now you know if you want to break your new year's resolution it's perfectly okay Let's hear it Lee as well. <laughs> thank you mike thank you take care have a great day well to cut them up the best absolutely fantastic well done thank you mike nice to see you and uh, becoming a regular on the show which is wonderful Okay, we're going to uh, exercise our, uh, our our wings a little bit now and go all the way from the USA. Uh, I think we'll go the Pacific route. We'll go via the Pacific over the international dateline and end up in Australia uh, with a magician who's uh, got a fantastic reputation. He's been on TV in Australia. He does corporate shows, all sorts of stuff. He's a wonderful magician. Welcome, Phil Bevan. Hi there, Phil. Hello. Sorry, guys, I'm a bit late. I um I slept in. Um, I'm on holidays in Australia, so um, getting up at uh, 
this time in the morning is uh, it's just a bit too early for me. <laughs> I'm not working, but uh, <laughs> lovely to see you all. And um, I'm going to just uh, do a couple of card tricks um, just to start off with. And um, I'll just give them a, uh, I'll, I'll wind them up. I don't know whether you guys will be able to hear this. Sound sort of gets a bit distorted on, on Zoom. But um, I'll just uh, shuffle them. And we need someone to do actually do this on. So um, is there any um, lay people in the audience? Or are they all magicians, Kevin? I'm sure Jill would love to help you, Phil. Jill? All right. We'll just wait. There we go. There's Jill. Hello, Jill. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. All right, so you can see the cards are uh, well and truly shuffled now. Um, I'm going to look away so I can't see the monitor. And Jill, can you just think of a card that you see there? Can you put them down just a little bit? Can you see them? Yeah. Have you got one? Yeah. All right. You didn't think of this one, did you? No. That one there? Because that's like, everyone thinks of that for some reason. All right, well, give them a bit of a uh, shuffle. So I don't even know where you were looking. And I, was look I wasn't looking at the monitor. Okay, Jill, I want you to just concentrate on your card. Um, I'm going to try to just get it by ESP. Do you believe in ESP? No. Do you know what it stands for? Yes. It stands for Entertaining um, Silly People. In your case, it's entertaining smart people. In my case, it's extra small um, um, uh, pockets. <laughs> All right, now, Jill, going to try to just get the vibes. So think of your card. It was a black one, yes? It was. Uh, it was a club. It was. It was the, um, it was the two of clubs. It was. Is, is that right? I'm convinced now. Oh, that's amazing. You did a great job of that. I, I got that like all the way from wherever you are straight into my mind. So that, that was fantastic. Thank you, Jill. Oh, I'm exhausted. Everyone give Jill a big round of applause. That was, that was incredible. <laughs> and if you were here, Jill, I'd get you to, to um, deal the cards out um, in this next thing because I'm going to show you how to actually um, deal cards for a poker hand oh do you play poker no i'm not a you gambler don't. you're not a gambler okay mm. well um doesn't matter you're not there anyway so uh, you're not here anyway so no. uh, i'm just gonna get the you could have thought of any of these cards but let me just see if i can actually get the aces i'm gonna just try to just get get the aces out of here let me have a go at this um look at that <laughs> Very <good. laughs> four aces just appear well uh, now i'm gonna do this fa fa face up so you can all you guys can see um there's there's a special way of actually getting these cards so that they fall to to, to um to the dealer's hand or to whoever's hand in the uh in a game of game of poker all right and I, there's a formula but i'll leave it face up so you can see because it's more interesting all right um uh, all you have to do, Jill, is remember the formula, and you too can go and cheat people at poker. <laughs> all right, so you, you have to just um, ordinarily the cards would be face down, um, otherwise you get your fingers chopped off. But I'll, I'll just show you the formula. So you you run one, and you in jog one. You shuffle off eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You out jog. You shuffle off to the very last card. You cut on the in jog, you cut on the out jog, um, you shovel four, one, two, three, four. Uh, you cut to the break, you run one, you in jog one, you shuffle off eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You out jog, um, you shuffle off to the very last card. In this case, it's not the face up ace, so you can't see. Um, and then you you shuffle four, one, two, three, four. You cut to the break. Um, oh, wait a sec. Um, I don't know whether I've actually 
done done this right. Let's just see. One, two. Oh, I got to shuffle deal deal the poker hands. One, two, three, four. Oh yeah, there's there's an ace. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's another ace. One, two, three, four. Oh, there. I, I just did it. I can't believe this. One, two, three, four. And the last ace is, um, let's have a look. The last ace, I'm going to get you to just uh, watch this. Watch this. Let's see if I can do it. Uh, rather than dealing it, I'm going to try my, my this is my, my favorite move. You ready? I've got to just shake, shake the cards. If I shake the cards like this, let me see. One, two, three. One, two, three. Mm -hmm. Let's try it this way. I'll just do it with one hand. One, two, three. Up. There it is. The <laughs> last ace just appears. <laughs> well, you have a happy new year. That. I'll What's remember that? that. If you remember the formula, you'll get it, yeah? <laughs> I will remember. Thank All right. you. Have a great day, guys. Um, enjoy the rest of the magic. See ya. Thanks, Phil. Uh, it's great to see you on the show. Great to see you on the show. And hopefully, uh, oh, how much more holiday have you got over there? Or are you uh, nearly back? Uh, about three weeks. So hopefully we'll try and get you on before you go back. Before, uh, if it's... Uh, All right. Well, I'll try to get a bit. Uh, um, 7 a.m. Uh, Sydney time, not 9 a.m. Sydney time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think what I did is I, I, I added an hour on instead of taking it away. <laughs> it off. Yeah, yeah. Terrific. Thank you, Phil. Right. Well, and another another long flight ahead of us as we uh, take off from uh, Kingston Smith and head out towards uh, uh, New York. I think we'll go to, and then we'll go quick hop over to Iceland. And Gunnar, how they gonna? Hello, hello. Happy New Year, everybody. Well. Uh... When I told Kevin I was going to join in today, I told him I was a bit lazy today after the holidays and the new year. And I told him I was not going to do magic. I was going to ask Jill to do the magic. So it's going to be Jill's night tonight. So can I have Jill helping me, please? Oh, I'm nervous now. Hello, Jill, and uh, happy new year. Happy Yay, new the Jill show. show. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, Jill, I've got some cards here, and uh, you tell me when to stop shuffling. I'm going to shuffle them a little bit, and uh, you t just tell me that's you see that, that, that they are well mixed up. That's fine. And and do you want me to cut shallow, deep, or middle? Shallow. Shallow. So, so, like, like, like this. That's fine. Okay. Very good. So uh, now I'm going to point your attention to the coins I've got here. I've got one pence. I've got what, what do you call it? Two pence. Two pence. Two pence. Okay. Five pence, 10 pence, and 20 pence. And now they are in this order from one up to 20. Mm -hmm. But you tell me exactly which order you want them to be in. So where do you want the one penny to be in? In the middle. In the middle, in the dead center. So, so you see, I, I can do some, do some coin bending. Oh. Powerful. They, they, they're just printed on paper. <laughs> so the one, <laughs> one penny goes in the middle. Uh, where do you want the five pence to be? Where the 20 is now. Where the 20 is now. So I'll put the five pence here. The 20, where do you want that to be? Oh, where the one is. Where the one is, no problem. No, where the two is, sorry. Where, it's where the two they're is? They're all the same size. Yeah, it's, it's up it's to you. Absolutely. So this is the two pence. Where do you want that to be? I want that to be where the one was originally. Okay. And do you want 
the 10 p to stay here or do you want to swap any of them further no, that's absolutely fine that yeah, absolutely fine so we are going to let your order decide how many cars i deal i don't know how you do it but i know you're going to do it um so it's going to be one and two because there are two pens here okay here's, here's the 20p so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. You keep me honest. Okay. One pence, one penny, one penny, one. Right. 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Correct. And finally, five. One, two, three, four, and five. So, so, so we, we're left over with, with these here. Okay. So Jill, raise both hands and say your magic word. Oh, Rumbaba. Rumbaba, brilliant. Like I say, I don't know how you do it, but if we turn the top card around, You've got 10 of spades. The top card here is the jack of spades, the queen of spades, the king of spades, and the ace of spades. You've got the perfect royal poker hand. Wow. So I, I just acted as your hand. So everybody give Jill a great round of applause. Jill the magician, I don't know how you do it. It's brilliant. Thank you very much. Thank Over you. To you Ken. Over to you, Kevin. Yeah, I, I'm, I mean, really, we should be just giving this up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, let Jill do the show. Jill, do you want to take over? <laughs> Fabulous. Thank you, Gunnar. And thank you, Jill. Okay, so uh, quick, uh, quick little hop by flight from uh, Reykjavik over to JFK and. Tommy Burnett, come in New York. All right. Hey, good evening, everyone. It's uh, about, about 4 p.m. where I am, so it's uh, a bit earlier than it is for you. Um, but really good to be here, and um, thank you again for having me. Um, I was planning on using Jill, but uh, something told me beforehand that Jill would be bombarded by magicians today. So I I decided earlier, I, I made a prediction, and I decided earlier that Jill was not going to be up for being a volunteer like five times in a row. So, I changed my position, and I would like to use Mike, if it's okay. Um, so, if you can bring Mike out. Yep. Uh, yep. Mike, by the way, great routine. I really love it. Thank you. Uh, it one of my favorite, um, one of my favorite uh, bits of magic. Yeah. Um, so, I'm going to show you something. It, it is it's not really a card trick. It is involving a deck of cards, but it's not really a card trick. It's more of a mental, a mental trick, right? Okay. Um, but it, it does involve cards. I am going to change my camera angle so we can see everything going on here. I'm also, I have my, my predictions on my phone. Okay. Um, and we'll come back to that in a minute. I'm gonna put that to one side. All right. Um, but just for, um, there are a lot of musicians here. So just so people know 
Um, I am I am going to mix this up. Um, uh, but that's really neither here nor there because it, it doesn't matter if they were mixed up or not. It's just um, it's just one of those things because of all the existence here, and you know, I don't want people to think that I'm. You know, I don't want people to think that I'm using the stack. I don't want people to think that you and I are in cahoots. In fact, we we've, we've barely spoken in the time that I've known you. I've seen you on here a couple of times. We might have said hello here and there, but we never actually. This is really the first time that we've actually really interacted, right? Correct. We we've so, never met. We never met. But next right. time I'm in New York, I'll come and say hi. Excellent, excellent. I'll be wait. I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting. Uh, <laughs> so, um, Mike, uh, I, I'm sure you're familiar with all all the cards, energetic cards. Yeah. Correct. Uh, uh, give me a favor and just name one for me. Okay, let me pick one that's not so typical. Good. Um, that's sort of random for me. Seven of spades. The seven of spades. Very yes. good. Very good. And um, do me a favor and, and also pick a number between one and 52. Oh, okay. The plot thickens. Um, how about 33? 33. Perfect. Perfect. Now, um, I'm going to uh, open my phone here. Let's see. Uh, Got to remember my my passcode. Uh, and I'm actually going to. Uh, I have my phone connected to my computer, so I'm going to. Um, wait a minute. Where did it go? Oh, I guess I have to do it over here. Yeah. There it is. Okay, so um, let me just open up my. Gonna see if I can. Sorry, sorry, I had to set up already. Uh, what? Go to my photo album. There's my job, Benzi. And let's see. Okay, so. Um, you're gonna see something in a minute. Okay, now we're gonna go back to my table here. Okay. And the same thing that was on the screen is also on my phone. It's just it's easier for you to see it um on on the computer. Now you said um the seven of spades at thirty three. Right, so I was just going to give these one cut like that, and then we'll cut down, we'll count down to 33 and, and see um, what happens. Okay, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, uh, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. And so far, they've all been different. 31, 32, and this is 33. And what card did you say? Seven of spades. Seven of spades. Now, wow. that in itself, that in itself is, right. is pretty impressive. Amazing, amazing. Yep. But let me go back to my phone here. Um, and let's see, right over here, I have a photo. It has the seven of spades. I'm going to... Uh, Expand this out so you can see what I wrote in 
the notebook. It says, hi, Mike. Um, the chances of the card seven of spades being at any position, including the number 33, is only one in 52. But as I've predicted the number 33, it has become even more impossible and the odds are now 1 to 2704. Thank you, Mike. And Thank you. Now, That's great. I love it. I love it. Thank you. And now back to Kevin. Thank you, Tommy. Um, so I've got to follow that now. <laughs> 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 uh, right, so change of routine, <laughs> something totally different. Um, well, <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to try something with with some cards uh, that's a little bit complicated and not. That, I mean, it's, it's fun, but it needs a bit of concentration, and it is, I think, possibly impossible. So I might not be able to do this, but we'll give it a go. Uh, so I'm going to ask Jill to help me select somebody, a magician, because I know magicians will have a pack of cards, and I want them to do all the work. I'm just going to sit here and tell them what to do. So uh, let's just have a look. Uh, stick your hand up if you've got a good mic, no delays, and you've got a pack of cards. So Lee, Lee Germain, have you got a pack of cards? And Bruce Joskin, you've got a pack of cards? And who else out there? Uh, Scott Patton's got a pack of cards. And Phil Bevan. So Jill. Who do we have? Then we know it's not set up, so you're going to choose one of those randomly. I cut you're muted. Number three. Who was? I can't remember. So I'll give you the name. So we had Scott Patton, we had Phil Bevan, we had Lee Germain, and we had Bruce Lee. Lee. Lee Germain. Okay. Lee, come and join me on the uh, on the Zoom table. Uh, grab a pack of cards. And I'm just going to show you, I'll go to the overhead camera so you can see what you're going to do. Grab your pack of cards. We're only going to need an even number of cards out of this because we're going to deal into two parts. So uh, what I'd like you to do is get, dig out uh, in, in any suit. And then, so you'd want an ace of any suit, a two, a three. Don't let me see, though. It doesn't matter, actually, at this point. But look, so... Ace two, just to do so. Ace two, three, a four, a five, a six, seven, eight, nine, ten, a jack and a queen. A jack and a queen. There we go. Lovely. So put all the rest of the cards aside. Put them in a pile together, which we're going to get back to those, and then give them a turn them upside down so I can't see them, and give them a shuffle. And in a minute, I'm going to show you what you're going to do, but you're going to move your camera away so I can't see you doing this because I don't want to, to know what's going on. So put those aside, the ones that you shuffled up, okay? Go ahead. Yeah. So pick up your pile of cards, the ones you take, took out, and turn them face down. Yeah. So you're holding them like that, face down. Yes. The, the uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12 cards. Yeah? Yes. Okay. So we're not going to mix them up. I'll show you how you're going to mix them. Uh, but again, you can make choices here, how you're going to do things. And now you're going to mix them up. So I'll just tell you, you're going to deal two piles. Okay? That's why I said even numbers. Okay. Okay, then you can put either the right on the left or the left on the right. Good matter. Okay. And then uh, deal two piles again. Okay. And again, I'll, if you just pick up one of the piles and have a look, you'll see that they're now fairly random. Yeah? Yes. Okay, so you've got the two piles. Now, you have a choice here. Uh, let's just put left on right or right on left again. So you've got one pile, left on right okay. or right on left. Yeah. Uh, you've got a choice now. You can either do that again, or we move on to the next phase. So you can mix them up even more 
by dealing two pals again if you want. It's up to you. Oh, let's just move on. Move on? Okay. Yeah. So now you're still going to deal two pals. Okay. Okay. But something different is going to happen this time. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Okay. And you're going to turn either one of those over, either the left or the right. Don't tell me which one it is. Yeah. Okay. Now, I want you to think of a random number in that pile. So there's one, two, three, four, five, there's six in there. I want you to think of a random number between one and six. Again, don't tell me what it is. Yeah. Okay. Now pick up the first pile. Either the pile will do, either the face up or the face down pile. Okay. And deal down to your number. So six, say it was, say it was six in my case, whatever your number is. Yeah. No, I say, I say, I'm going to say three just to demonstrate. But your number could be anything. I don't know what it is. And do this quietly so I can't hear the number you're dealing. Yeah. Okay. So if, if it was three, you'd go one, two, and put the third one aside. And drop the rest on top. Okay. And then you take the other pile, either the face up or face down, whichever you've decided to do second, and you do the same again. One, two, and then the third one. Or the whichever number it is over there. I gotcha. Okay. Then take those, put them there, and then take the rest of the pack and just shuffle those into the pack so they can go in anywhere. Okay. Okay. And then whatever, so you'll now turn over your second card. I'm not going to turn over mine because you, you might think that I'm generating another number which will influence you or something. So just have a look so that I can't see. You'll have two cards. Yeah? Yep. Add the sum of the faces on them. So you'll have a random number now that I can't possibly know. Okay. Yeah? Uh, somewhere between 1 and about 23, 24, I think is the maximum you could have got there. Uh, the queen and, and, and the jack you could have possibly had. So that would be what? Uh, that would be 11 and 12, 23. So that the highest number that you, you could have in your head at this moment could be 23. Okay. Take the, the rest of the cards. No, it's three. Okay, and give them a good shuffle. Okay. And now hold them in, in a dealer grip. Got it. Okay, and you're just going to deal them face up. Don't do this yet. On the table, and just tell me. So you'll say one, five of hearts, two, ten of clubs, nice and slowly, but not too, not, you know, don't make it too boring. So it's just so I can okay. hear what you're saying. And go all the way to 23, we said, was the highest number you could possibly have. Right. Okay. So. Nine spades. So, Nine what's that one? So, two. Three. Eight. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Eight. eight. So, so where, where are we? Just, just very late. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Slow down. I don't know where you are. Where have you got to? We're at four. You're, you're, so say the number and then the card. Oh, excuse me. Okay. Yeah, Five yeah. would be the king. King of? Hearts. <laughs> yeah. Six would be the three of clubs. Mm -hmm. Seven would be the three of spades. Mm -hmm. Eight would be the eight of spades. Mm -hmm. Five would be the five of, no, I'm sorry. Nine would be the five of hearts. <laughs> Ten would be the queen of hearts. Eleven would be the five of diamonds. 12 would be the king of clubs. 13 would be the seven of diamonds. 14 would be the nine of clubs. 15 would be the ace of clubs. 16 would be the queen of spades. 17 would be the jack of spades. 18 would be the seven of spades. 19 would be the nine of hearts. 20 would be the 10 of diamonds. 21 would be the six of spades. 22 would be the eight of hearts. 
and 23 would be the 10 of clubs. So you know what the card was at your position? I will in a second because I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> That's okay, I'll get a hand one. So whatever your number, your random number was, which I don't know, which I couldn't possibly know from... Right, personally. I got her, I got her. Okay, so take your card out and hold it like this. Up to the camera. And <laughs> assuming I could get the nuances out of your voice, do you want to turn it round? Sure. Three, two, one, go. Cool. <laughs> very good. Very good. Thank you, Lee. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you. That was good fun. <laughs> so, from uh, our fantastic New Year lineup tonight, uh, John Smith, Rubina, Jack Spare Ribs, William Dow, Lee Germain, who's just been back. Uh, Scott Patton, Mike Shaw, Phil Bevan all the way from Australia, Gunnar from Iceland, Tommy Burnett from New York City, and myself ending the evening up on. So uh, hopefully we'll see you again next week. And so from all of us here on the Open Mic Wednesday Magic Show, good night. And uh, oh, yes, so magicians stay with us, but non-magicians, you know where the... Uh, exits are and make your way there and we'll see you again next time thank you all very much and a happy new year happy new year jill thank you jill for all your help happy, happy new, new year, year jill, jill.